but continuing in the vein of inspecting games and importing battle mechs um, I'm mucking around with MechWarrior 5 it's taken a little bit to get here but it's been an interesting journey to say the least um, so in this case I because I've bought the game I went to the Epic Store downloaded the um, MechWarrior 5 Mercs editor which allows me to create mods so I could get access to the Unity files and the uh, all the textures and all the bits inside it <clears throat> and you can see the headless fire starter stomping across the terrain here so let's get on with this now that we've got everything installed we're looking at actually extracting a mech nice and simple so I'm going to pick on the classic Irvi because everybody loves it for some stupid reason and inside the model in the body we have the skeleton and we also have to hunt around for the cockpit so in this case uh, DM0 which I assume is there for the low damage level so I'm going to select both of these right click and I'm going to do a bulk export once it catches up to reality waiting still waiting yep uh, asset actions bulk export we need to dump it somewhere I've previously tested with this firestar so Irby dump it all in there and it'll extract everything as FBX I've switched this to the 2020 version don't know why I just did and go OK and export all that's now done next up we need to get the textures so going two levels deep inside the materials textures we've got this whole list so uh, control A to select all and then right click and it'll take a little bit to do this and then again another bulk export all right so again uh, asset actions bulk export dump it in the same folder it'll sort itself out and I'll show you how to fit, tidy it up in a minute so just while this is finishing off all these textures cover everything that you can think for different um, camo patterns let's say it's camo patterns the colors are really vibrant there's a fix for that that I've got um, but moving right along let's jump back 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 to the urban mech level this time through I'm going to get the MDAs now this is um, export uh, I just I dump that one there and now I'll see if I can get the other three um, this these are the weapon loadouts for the various mechs so bulk export I just want to dump it in that folder it will do its thing they're very tiny they're just text files if you double click on it um, and I'll bring the asset view in so you can see it so it's got you know which materials get used some stats and all sorts of other stuff about it um, available hard points hard points that are used so you can see where things are loaded up and this BH1 and EH1 gives you a clue to where the weapons are actually stashed and if I remember yeah anyhow um, so I'm moving over to animations here we can see there's a whole bucket load I'm not completely certain over which ones we actually need so um, but oh yeah what I said about the OB this one this, this copy if you just open up with notepad plus plus it gives you a giant walk and very big text file as you can see all these stats on the Mac um, which is yeah complicated so um, I needed that for something else um, all right now animations um, now by default for some bizarre reason if I double click on the blueprint I'm not going to get anything worthwhile because it's the blueprint ABP but if we double click on one of the animations so you can see here blueprint can't edit it hide that for a second get back to here it automatically defaults to the charge a minute not charge the crusade crusader yeah crusader miniature um, mech so in this list here it's all playing its thing I'm gonna stop that because it annoys me I've got UM this is the last of the urban mech ones I'm gonna scroll up until I stop seeing UM and there we are click that one so shift click that to select all of them and I'm going to change from the crusader scroll to the bottom of my list to find the urban mech there we are and then apply to all and all this really does is just updates to the correct mesh so that when you export it it doesn't cause chaos so right clicking on this I can then export as FPX and it gives me a location I go yes and all it'll 
and then it runs through its thing yeah it's still trying to cache stuff I'll ignore that for the moment so I go to my desktop there's the Irby it's dumped all the animation files straight in the middle of the mess here so I'm just going to create an animation directory um, uh, select all then control click that one and that one then I can drag that into there and one thing I've noticed with mucking around with this script is that um, the animations can tend to stuff up this is a result of um, when you export it from Unreal uh, the, the proper skeleton hasn't been attached so in this case you can see here the arms are just flipped inside at really weird angles so if you get that sort of thing happening how to fix it is you jump over to the outliner change the outliner view to broken uh, not broken links um, the blender file and then you select so click the first item hold down shift click the last item and then you clear the fake user and then finally delete it and that will remove the animation files from blender then it's a simple matter of basically going back to selecting the the root bone of the entire skeleton run the script again it should import it should work it properly um, but that being said if you find any errors finding mistakes please let me know i want to try and make this as good as possible and look i hope you found this interesting thank you for your time today and enjoy the rest of it see ya